Welcome to Emax2. My name is Louis Shell. As you already know, if you've been watching my channel, you know that last night I posted a video about the GH5. I received that camera very late last night and I watched to put a video, not really on unboxing, but however, to let you know, just let you know that Emax2 LMP video got the big bad boy. We all know everybody that's serious about video trying to get their hands on this camera because it's full of features for videographers. This camera can take photos, but however, most likely it's for people that shoot video. And the autofocus system on that camera has been put to the test by different other channel. I believe Max Urev, if I say his name right, I don't want to butcher his name, put two videos out there. A lot of people has opinion about it, think he did the test wrong. Um, but myself, I take a look at it last night, I barely sleep, I take my time, I study, I do some research to find out uh, basically the intention behind how they design the autofocus system for that camera. There's a lock on and there's a progressive, there's fast and there's slow. So I'm gonna take a in-depth look of the idea behind that autofocus because I believe this, they make this camera primarily for people that shoot video, and they design uh, an autofocus system that if you have a head speaking uh, like this uh, video on YouTube, you can choose lock on so the camera doesn't lose that focus. And if you uh, people are moving, you can choose progressive if you do not want to lock on a certain subject. So you can cho choose progressive so that camera can move his focus from uh, the dominant subject on the frame. So the max UF test was most likely uh, the subject out of the frame, pop back on, on the frame. The way I understand it, if you have a subject and the camera was locked on, when it get out of that frame, there is no way that camera will be able to switch fast if you have it on slow. If you have it on lock on and slow for not progressive, so what's gonna happen, the camera gonna take its time to change the focus. But all this time I'm saying, I'm not saying this is the best autofocus system. I believe Panasonic got some work to do on the autofocus system because even though when you put it on the uh, progressive for it to change, his, uh, he, the autofocus fast, it still take its time. It doesn't go as fast as it should be, but it's a little bit better. I run a few tests and I try to figure out the idea behind how they designed that autofocus. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the different tests. I basically run the same test that I, he did. This is exactly why I can figure out that's what happened, because when you put the camera on slow to change his autofocus, and you have that uh, subject out of the frame and pop back in uh, on the frame, the camera will focus on something else and it will take its time on that subject that it lock on before you switch to the new subject that appear on your frame. Uh, the truth is, I don't think this is the best, the best way to test an autofocus system, but some other camera perform well on them. Panasonic should be able to make their camera to work as well as the other camera, even though I don't think scientifically it is not the best way to run an autofo autofocus test because I've shot with the GH4, the G85, sometime when it's not ideal, I will put it on autofocus to let it work. I never have a problem having really something really, really tragic happen in this footage. So let's take a look at the footage I shot. The same, basically same test, subject out in frame, put stuff in front of your face to see how the GH5 did on the autofocus test. And first, let me run you through how I set up uh, this camera, how to go on your menu to set up your autofocus. Now we're looking at the back of the GH5. The first thing you gotta do, make sure you're on auto. Uh, it's the camera's on full auto. The exposure mode is the camera and the A, not the camera with the S or the P. And you gotta make sure that your continuous AF is on and the AF custom setting video is not gray out. So it doesn't have to be on at this time, but mine already on. So we're gonna go on the, uh, make sure we change uh, uh, on the back of the camera as you're looking at right now, the AFS slash AFF, that's what we want the little button to print on. 
and now we go on continuous af make sure that is on and we're hitting back again we're going to do af custom setting video we make sure that on and when we get there you're going to have af speed af sensitivity and you have to hit set so you can have the option to change between slow and fast as you can see i'm changing it to slow right now and i'm gonna move it to fast so we gotta go back hit back again so we can have the option to change the af sensitivity remember on that case you want if you want the camera not to respond fast you're gonna put it at minus five and if you want it to change the af focus fast you're gonna to put it on plus five so this is a well-designed uh, autofocus system that's probably not respond the way it should be but however we know this is made like if you're shooting a uh, kind of head video shooting you have to put it on slow and if you're shooting a uh, movement you're gonna put it on fast now af sensitivity there's lock on lock on mean like the camera gonna lock the autofocus on a certain subject this is why i believe the autofocus on these tests are not great because when you have the camera lock on a subject and it disappear on the frame we appeal again so if the camera would be focusing on something else before it's on lock on on that subject to lock on on the new subject on the uh, responsive mode if it's fell now i can understand this is exactly what i said probably the system is not great but we can see on the plus three the camera respond better to the test that max you have uh did and i did i did the same test you're gonna watch that too on the plus three plus five it's better because at this time the camera respond to when the subject is out of the frame and pop up again so you have time to uh focus faster but when it locked on and you disappear the camera gonna locked on on another subject and it will take time especially when it's on the slow on the minus five and to focus on the subject that pop back again so uh the system is not perfect i'm gonna go ahead and show you the test that i did it's basically similar to max uf people pop out uh and pop back in on the frame so the camera will not respond to that uh, well i hope you understand that system af speed plus five minus five uh and uh, af sensitivity plus three minus three let's take a look at the test and see uh how the camera did this is the last test all right okay. this is the last test, and we're gonna need this too because if i think i got it right this time with your recording? Yeah, I am. Move backward. Backward, backward, stop. Bend. Go up. Come forward. Stop. Move one step left, not a big step. One step left. Move to the right. Move in front of the camera again. Bend down. Stop right there. Come up. All right. Get that thing. Put it in front of your face. Put it down. Move backward. Stop. Put this thing in front of your face. Put it down. Put it in front of your face. Put it down. Come forward. Stop. Don't focus now. Still not focus. But no, I said, I said. Still not focus. Bend down. Stand up.
move backward one step, put this in front of your face. Keep it there. Put it down. Move forward one step. Put it in front of your face. Keep it, don't move when you put it. Put it down. Move backward two step. Put this thing in front of your face. Keep it there, keep it. Put it down. Move forward. Stop. Put this in front of your face. Put it down. Look at the camera. Bend down. Stand up. Put this in front of your face. Put it down. Put it in front of your face again. Put it down. Move backward two steps. Stop right there. Bend down. Stand up. Move forward. Stop right there. Five steps now. No three plus five steps. We still cannot be, the, the camera still not focusing. Now it focus. Put this thing in front of your face. Put it down. Put it on your face. Keep it there. Don't keep on moving it. Okay. Put it down. Move backward. Two step. Stop. Don't move. Don't move. When you move, stay still. Still not focusing, yeah? Put this on your face. Put it down. On your face. Bend down. Okay, now take it out on your face, come up. Move forward two steps. Stop. Put it on your face. Put it down. Move backward. Stop. Um, this is autofocus test. Plus five, plus three. We already do the. We already done with the minus five and minus three. Come forward to the camera again. Stop right there. Bend down. Stand up. Bend down. Come up with the box when you come up. Stop right there, put it on your face. Take it out. Move backward one step. Put it on your face. 
Bend down. Okay, come up without the box. Um, this should complete uh, the minus, the plus three, plus five. Give me two steps backward. Stop. Move to the right, a little step. Move forward, one step. Move to the left, one step. Bend down. Come up. That's it. That's complete the test to see what we got. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope this helped you understand the autofocus system of the Panasonic GH5. Not a perfect one yet. I hope Panasonic can fix it uh, via software uh, upgrade, but it's not as bad. The idea behind the autofocus system on that camera is great for people that shoot video. If you have, if you want to race, uh, and uh, let's say your, your, your kid is playing soccer and you see it coming, you lock on, on your kid, that camera is supposed to keep that focus he has all the time, but I don't think he does that as well as he should do it. That's what I'm calling to see if Panasonic can put an upgrade out there soon to fix that autofocus uh, system. But the only things I love about it, it is the mind behind that autofocus system. Somebody was thinking, but the camera doesn't perform as well as it should be. Like I said, I'm not paid by Panasonic. Actually, Panasonic barely know if I exist. But however, I bought this camera because it fit my style of shooting. We all know no AA filter, can shoot uh, 60 frames per second 4K and 180 frames per second at 1080p. Uh, what else that camera can do? We have focus speaking, zebra, you name it. This is a great camera for somebody that is serious in shooting video uh, for a living. And it is great for the price print. $2,000, you cannot go on with the price and uh, the full features for people that shoot video on the Panasonic G H5. So if you do not subscribe to this channel yet, I would like for you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. We have more video coming on different features that uh, camera has to offer. And if you like the video, do not hesitate. Go ahead, hit the like button because we have more video coming on the Panasonic G H5. Great camera for the money, full of features for people that shoot video. If you planning on getting one, do not hesitate. Not the best vlogging camera because he have a few flaws, but I'm sure if you put this camera on lock on, that's gonna be my neck test, and you vlogging with it, he will lock on your face and not move. Do not hurt as much, so you can realize some great vlogging with that camera if the lock on work properly. Like the video if you do, like I said, and subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I will catch you on the next video.